Lovely stars shine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold me down. Now my feet don't even reach the ground. Hi, just like welcome to vlog number four. I think I'm on now. I think it's number All four. Um, just to give you an update on what I've been working on in the last couple of weeks and then what my plans are for the next two weeks or so. Um, so when I last checked in, um, my main project was the Wear Lemonade Simona blouse. And ta-da! Here we go. Here's my first version. And I've actually sewn a second version as well, which I got finished this morning. Um, so what I did say I was doing um, was adding a step-by-step um, -step video sew along on how to make this blouse, um, which I've done. You may have, if you already subscribed to the channel, you may have already been notified about that. Um, but if not, do check it out. Um, I have spoken to quite a few fellow sewers who um, love the look of Wear Lemonade, but have been put off actually making them because the video tutorials and a lot of the instructions that are out there are in French. Um, so if you do fancy giving this blouse a go, um, check out my um, video so along before you buy just to make sure that you that you do understand it um, and I definitely give it a go because I love it. So a little bit more about what I love about this um, blouse. I love the fit, it's quite a loose fit, um, reminds me of a bit like a, uh, a 1990s style shirt uh, which I absolutely love. Um, it's got cuffs, it's got um, a, a nice collar and my favourite bit is the bow. Um, so the bow is removable, you can um, wear it without the bow if, if you want to. And what I was also thinking of doing is making a bow in uh, black and in grey, um, just to pick up the grey and black that's in this fabric, um, and that will give the shirt a totally different look as well. Both versions that I've made, I've made from Liberty of London Torn Lawn, which works really, really well with that pattern because it drapes beautifully, but it is still um, quite a crisp um, cotton as well, and it's dead comfy to wear. Um, and both my sets of Liberty fabric, I got at less than half price from Abacan. Um, so this one was twelve fifty a metre, and this one was ten pound a metre. So an absolute bargain for a Liberty of London blouse. Um, this one, it'll probably be a little bit more difficult to see on camera because there's quite a lot going on um, in the fabric, but I will add some photos at the end of the video to show you what that looks like on. Um, on both my versions, rather than using buttons, I've gone for the easy option of plastic um, snaps. Um, for me, when I'm working with um, quite busy fabric like both of these are, um, a fancy button would just get lost in the fabric anyway. Um, and these are so much quicker and easier to install than buttons and they're dead cheap because you get 30 in a pack for um, just a couple of quid. Um, so I have used these snaps. Um, so you can wear this blouse with or without the tie um, and you can also wear it um, for a more casual look with the bow but with the collar undone. Um, so I would definitely recommend this pattern. Um, it was an absolute pleasure to make. I really enjoyed it actually with having a bit more detail like the collar and the, uh, the collar and the cuffs. Um, definitely give it a go. This first version took me ages, but I think that was because I was doing the videos. Um, this second version, I started yesterday afternoon, spent a few hours yesterday um, and an hour or so this morning. So I'd say all in all, probably took about four to five hours um, to complete. So definitely give it a go. Um, so that's my first thing, the Wear Lemonade Simona. The next thing that is on my um, make list is a challenging one for me. I've never made a winter coat before, but I really want to make one. Um, so for the last couple of weeks, I've been uh, plowing through um, loads of different patterns to find my favorite. The one I've decided to go for is by Named Patterns, and it's the Yona Wrap Coat. It is an advanced level pattern, 
Um, so it will be challenging, I'm sure, because I've uh, not made a coat before. Um, but that's one of the reasons why I've gone for this one, because I did want one that's a little bit more challenging. Um, I have started to read up in my um, vintage tailoring book as well. Um, to be fair, I probably won't do it um, as a fully tailored project where you hand sew all the seams and things because um, I just don't think it's really necessary although I may change my mind as I start trying to do it we'll we'll, we'll see see how I get on um, but there's some good tips in there um, around transferring pattern markings and um, stuff like that so I've, I've been having a look the pattern itself I've got the PDF version um, and this was a little bit different than any other PDF um, that I have used because um, you still need to trace the pattern onto pattern paper. It's one of the ones where the pattern sheet or the pattern pieces overlay one another, which makes it a positive from one side because there's only 20 sheets to sellotape together rather than 50 or whatever it would be. Um, but then you need to have pattern paper to transfer it onto, um, which can be added cost. But for me, I have got a huge roll of it anyway, so that's fine. Um, the instructions do look a bit Billy Basic. Um, there is step-by-step -step instructions, um, but there's just kind of diagrams to show you what to do. There's no photographs or anything like that. Uh, when I've read a few blogs that are out there, people have said it's a beautiful, um, amazing coat, um, but there has been some challenges along the way in sewing it. So I will keep you posted on how I get on. Um, and of course, I'll do a blog post to share um, what I've learned and how I've got over any challenges along the way. Um, so do do look out for that. Oh, I need to show you what fabric I'm using. Um, for the main fabric, I didn't want to get anything too expensive to start off with, um, with it being my first attempt. So I got this from the Remnant Basket at Abacan. Not sure what it is. It looks and feels like some kind of wool blend, um, but I thought it was a really pretty colour. Um, and it's quite heavyweight, so I think it'll make it a little bit easier for my first attempt. And I got about three meters of it. It's dead wide. It's uh, 150 wide, um, and three meters was 16 pounds. So I didn't think that was uh, too bad at all. For the lining, I'm hoping I've got enough of um, this. I don't know what you call them. Are they candy skulls? Um, left over just to add a little bit of interest with the patterned lining on the inside. Um, I wanted something that was shiny just so as it helps when you're putting the jacket on and off and it doesn't get stuck to other clothing. Um, so hopefully I've got enough left in um, that lining. If not, I'll have to get some more. So I'll keep you posted with how I get on with that coat. Hopefully in a couple of weeks time, I'll be able to share the finished result with you. The next thing that I'm going to be working on is a little bit of Christmas sewing. Um, I know Christmas already, I can't believe it's just around the corner. But I got this lovely book last year, this is Tilda's Winter Ideas. But I got this quite late on last year, so I didn't have chance to make very many things out of it. Um, I'll just show you a couple of examples of what's in here. Um, you've got lovely little um, Santa fairies. You've got stockings. More little fairies. There's a big Santa somewhere. Let me just show you him. There you go. Uh, there's like a Nordic um, style Santa. So there's um, loads of really nice stuff in there. It does include the patterns that you just need to trace off. Um, and it also includes things like um, wings that you just photocopy onto cardboard and then you can use those. I did make a few last year um, for my tree. These are a couple of the fairies that are made. So there's one with a little Santa hat on. Um, and there's one without. Um, they've got cute little buns in the hair, they've got the wings that are attached on the back and then I just added a little bit of string so I can hang those onto my Christmas tree. 
Um, so I love them, I think they're really sweet. And then I also made a larger um, ALF um, style Santa lady. Um, so this one I just sat on my um, uh, fireplace. Um, so I do intend to make some more of those as well. Although I must say my favourites are the little fairies. I think they are much sweeter um, than this lovely lady, but she is still very nice. Um, so I'm going to get cracking with um, some of my uh, Christmas decorations using that using that book. Um, I may look at adding a sew along um, if you fancy getting that book um, yourself as well um, or any of the other Tilda dolls as well you can adapt a little bit in Christmas fabrics and they make uh, really good Christmas tree decorations. And I think that's going to keep me going for a good couple of weeks or so. I think the coat is going to take me some time to put together um, and then the Christmas decorations I'm just going to do a little bit each week on the build up up to Christmas so that I'm ready by the time I put my tree up in December. So that's it and um, that's all I wanted to share with you today. If you've got any questions at all about the um, wear lemonade blouse um, then just ask them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. Um, if you've got any tips that you can help me with on sewing a coat, any blog posts that you've written yourself or you've come across which gives really useful information or any videos on here then please do share and I'll check those out before I get cracking with sewing. Uh, one thing I'll definitely be using is the walking foot on my sewing machine. Um, that's something I've all, already um, seen on blog posts that it really helps with all the bulk and all the layers uh, when you're sewing. So I'll, uh, I'll fish that out from my um, sewing box but other than that any tips do share them. So thanks for stopping by I'll see you again very soon. Bye! Just like a child I live in wonderland All my dreams are coming true Heavy shackles used to hold me down Now my feet don't even reach the ground Just like a prisoner when his sentence